Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing very well. So I was minding my own business the other day and I got a message from WAGS saying hey dude why don't you ever use your ATC you should be using your ATC for cruising and I was like what the Hornet has ATC question mark I had literally no idea I should have I should have guessed it's a naval plane and just about all naval planes seem to have ATC 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 automatic throttle control in the Hornet it can be used in two ways a for cruise which is what we're going to be looking at today and b for approach in the approach mode it would endeavor to keep us at a speed that gives us a static angle of attack for landing which is going to be really useful for landing as you know as far as i'm aware that's not implemented yet august 2019 but for cruise it's in there and it's working and it's just incredibly useful and it's all about reducing the workload for the pilot it's basically like an autopilot for speed so Let's um, maneuver my throttle up and down a little bit. And let's say I want to stick at about 300 knots. What I should do, in fact, I better show you the control. It's a button on the throttle, so you need to set uh, a control for it. By standard, it is a tango key, and you can set your own HOTAS, ATC engage, disengage. So I'm going to get to a speed that I like the look of. I, I like about 300, so I'm just going to go down to 300. And we're going to press, wait, 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 T. ATC comes on there, so when it's solid, ATC text there, the ATC is engaged and it's controlling smart throttle controllers on the actual engines themselves. If you want the geeky explanation, then I'll uh, link it down here somewhere and you can read about it. And what that's doing now is keeping me at 300 knots, which is great, it's doing all the throttle work for me. Now until now we haven't had a massive use for it to be honest, um, I guess in long cruises so you can go to the toilet and whatnot. But uh, now we've got the teapod, it's really important to have this because it's really hard to keep your... I just realised I haven't got a teapod. <laughs> if you do have your teapod on, it's really important to not have to worry about your speed. And the same with thing with altitude as well. So whenever you've got teapod on, what i found is you bung your ATC on, so you don't have to worry about speed. You bung your barometric altitude hold on. And then all you need to do, you don't need to worry about your altitude, all you need to do is worry about left stick and right stick. And, you know, a baby could fly that. So you've had speed and altitude taken care of for you. All you need to worry about now is finding targets on your teapot. Note that to put it ATC in cruise mode, the flaps have to be in the up, in the auto position. Turn it off, I'm just going to press T again. You see it fla it will flash and then it will uh, just to warn us that it's disengaged and then it will disappear in a minute. Okay, put it back on. We're going to hold 283 or whatever that was and modulate our throttle as we need to do. Also, if we want to cancel, if we want to take control of the throttle ourselves, you see it's gone now and we've got control of the throttle. One thing I noticed is it won't let you put ATC on when you're at full or high throttle. So if I try it now, you can see it's not working. I have to come down. So there's a threshold of throttle range that you have to be in. Uh, to allow it to work. I'm not sure exactly what that range is. And the speed doesn't seem to matter, it's just the amount of throttle. So um, it's important, once you've got the ATC engaged, not to move the throttle yourself, otherwise you'll just cancel it again. So this is really useful for general crews, especially if you've got guys flying in formation. It's going to be useful, like I said, for orbiting and finding targets and loitering. It's going to be useful for time on target stuff, where you have to keep you know, a set speed for everything to work. And it's just something I'm going to use all the time. That's it. When the landing, the approach variant works, I'll, uh, is implemented, I'll do a video on that. Otherwise, I hope that helps and see you later.